Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am sharing with you guys this hair tutorial. I posted on Instagram and I got a bunch of requests on like how I got my hair like this and it's so, so easy. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So if you want to find out how to get these fun, heatless, beachy, voluminous waves, then just keep on watching. This hairstyle actually starts the night before. So let's do a little flashback to yesterday. So yes, this process really begins the night before after you take a shower. So um, I highly recommend you take a shower because when your hair is a little damp, it just like kind of curls better as it dries or like creates those waves. So you want to shower, wash your hair and kind of let it air dry for maybe like 15, 20 minutes just so it's not like dripping, sopping wet because first of all, if your hair is just like that wet, it's going to be too slippery and not hold the braids that we're going to do. And second, it's going to take longer for your hair to dry and you want your hairstyle to be dry in the morning. So give it a little time to air dry. So something like this, you're just going to need four hair ties and you could just do two French braids down here, like just down the, the sides of your head like that and just have two French braids. But I find that this section, I think it's because I have thick hair, um, this section doesn't get as wavy. Um, so I actually create four braids. So two here, two here. So I have my hair split down the middle like so and then I'm going to split each side in half. So just like roughly, it doesn't need to be super precise, but something like that. You have a top and a bottom. You want to make sure they're like somewhat even. And then the top one, we are going to tie up. And you might as well tie up the bottom one too. It just makes it easier. Everything's all sectioned off. We've got two sections here, like so. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. And I don't have any product in my hair. You can do mousse if you want. Um, if your hair like has a harder time holding like some texture and waves, you can definitely add some mousse beforehand. But my hair does pretty well, so I'm going to pass on adding any product to my hair. Okay, let's start with the bottom one first. I'm going to tie this up out of the way. So let's go ahead and braid this. You can do a French braid or Dutch braid, whatever is easier for you. I think I just, my hands just like naturally do a Dutch braid. And I will leave links to how to do a Dutch braid and how to do a French braid in the description box. So if you want to learn either one of those kind of braids, you can check out that video. Those videos, there's two of them. They're very detailed and super helpful, so hopefully it can help you if you don't know if you're like learning how to do one of those kind of braids now the smaller the sections you pick up the tighter your waves are going to be and the tighter your waves are the more volume your hair is going to get so if you want like these big like super big voluminous waves try and grab tiny sections as you braid along your hair that's kind of as far as i can braid down so We'll go ahead and secure it with an elastic and this braid is done. Okay, now I'm going to braid this top section. I'm just going to brush through my hair with my wet brush. If you guys haven't tried the wet brush yet, totally missing out. It's such a game changer. I'll leave it linked below if you guys want to try it out. And now we have these two braids. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next side. So I'm just gonna pull this side over. I'm gonna gently put a bobby pin right there. If you get tangly hair, I just recommend going through with the wet brush. Um, I would try to avoid like the leave-in conditioners. Um, I know it'll make it, like braiding easier, but I think it'll just kind of weigh down your waves and kind of just just make them too heavy. So. I personally would try and avoid, but I mean, you could definitely try it out. But if you're looking to get the volume and texture, I would avoid the leave-in conditioner. Ta-da! Now moving 
on to our last little section here. Ta-da! I'd say if you have thinner hair, I'd still recommend sectioning off like in four different sections because I think it's just going to help create um, more volume that way versus like if you just had the two you would just have those singular waves if that makes sense all going like in the same direction but when you have like layers to it it just it's gonna give it a little more volume now I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll finish styling this Ta -da! and we are back it is the next day I slept with my braids out just like you last saw me, I just tied it back when I took a shower. So this is how I slept. There's some, you know, funky little dents from just like moving around in my sleep. But here is what our braids look like. Now it is time to remove the hair tie. Woo. So this is what we currently look like. We're not gonna leave it like this though. The first thing I will do though is take some hair oil and just run it through my ends because my hair tends to be a little more dry and because I have colored hair, that just makes it look even more dry. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my hands and then just run that through. Again, mainly focusing here on the ends. When I have these waves, I like to style my hair up like this so I'll just take a you know fairly decent sized section of hair starting from like the bottom of my ears and just going up towards the top of my head and then take a hair tie and tie it up right here so I did a few little adjustments pulled out a few hairs to frame my face and that is basically it for this hairstyle you want to make sure you you don't grab too big of a section up here because then this, see where kind of the layer hits right here? That part is just gonna get thicker while this part is just gonna get thinner. So try and grab a pretty small section so it sort of just blends in with the thickness of this bottom hair, like the sections that we have. So um, yeah, then you'll have something like this. I love styling it like this because sometimes I just feel like the part just always looks kind of awkward on me if I were to just try and leave it. So this is like always my go-to style and I just think it's super cute. It reminds me of like a little poodle like with this little, or like Lhasa Apso. I don't know, I love it. <laughs> love this hairstyle. It's super easy and super quick to do and it's just one of those hairstyles you don't have to really think much about um, when getting ready in the morning. So it makes it super easy. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, it's super, super easy to recreate. So I hope you guys give it a try. If you have any requests for any upcoming hair tutorials you'd like to see, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!